June is Pride Month and the Springfield Pride Parade kicks off next week. Greene County Clerk Shane Jeweler has taken to Facebook to voice his concerns about taxpayer money being used to put on the event and others like it. Michael Hoffman sat down with him along with the Glow Center, which puts on the parade and serves as the LGBTQIA community in the Ozarks. He now joins us in the newsroom. Michael, how much taxpayer money is actually being used here? Elizabeth, it's a few hundred dollars from taxpayer money, but the people at the Glow Center say that's a drop in the bucket compared to the twenty-five to thirty thousand dollars it costs to put on the event. But Mr. Scholler says just one dollar is too much. If you have concerns about the upcoming Pride Fest in terms of taxpayer dollars that are being spent on this because you have concerns, um, you need to voice those respectfully. Green County Clerk Shane Scholler posted this to Facebook, voicing concerns over how Ozarks Pride Fest will use tax dollars. I think that's an important conversation to have because I certainly believe as a Christian that I do not have the right to impose my beliefs upon anyone and I don't want government funded tax dollars being used to be able to do that. Just a question for you, do you know how much taxpayer money is actually being used for this? Uh, I have heard what the sponsorship levels are, but I don't have an exact number. Dr. Kyler Sherman Wilkins with the Glow Center says the Springfield City Government gives a few hundred dollars for the event. It's a tiny fraction of our overall sponsorship. And so I would just want to make sure that that context is very clear. We're not talking about half or 50, we're not even talking about 10 or 5%. Uh, it's a very tiny amount. And um, it, and so I, I don't want people to get this impression that this is something that's happening, like the city is sponsoring this. This is a Glow Center event. The Pride Fest has happened in June in Springfield since 2015. Thousands are in attendance every year. Kyler says the event isn't just for the LGBTQIA plus community. We want the same thing that everyone wants. We want to be able to live our lives. We want to be able to love who we want to love and, and just thrive and live the American dream as it were. And I think Pride is really important to show um, you know, non-LGBTQ uh, folks uh, what, what is the reality when it comes to LGBT people. In a statement, the city of Springfield says that they are not sponsoring the event, but the health department will pass out health related information at that event and the human resources department are set to use the large crowd and turnout as an employment and recruitment opportunity. Now, if you do want to read that full statement from the city of Springfield, check out this story online on KY3.com in our free KY3 news app. Back to you in the studio, Elizabeth. Thanks, Michael.